Hello guys and welcome back to my channel for another episode of Retro FM. Things are definitely going much better for Man City this season. We are about to play uh, local rivals Manchester United who have had our numbers so far in this series. So let's jump in and I'll catch you up on what you've missed. <laughs> So as things stand then guys, we are currently second in the Premier League. Uh, we are four points behind uh, Tottenham with a game in hand. Uh, things have been going pretty well. Um, some teams a bit who were faltering were the last time you would have seen us, uh, like the likes of Everton, for instance, have sort of picked themselves up a little bit. And Arsenal, most notably, are now up into 10th. If I just quickly jump into our fixtures, where are they? Let's see where we where we were last time. Um, we've had a couple of decent results, actually. Um, as I mentioned previously, the win against uh, Arsenal, win against Everton, and you would have seen us beat Aston Villa. Um, since then, you know, we've been pretty good. Um, if I just catch you guys up, we are top of our Europa League group. Um, not gone through just yet. Um, we've had some questionable results like drawings, uh, zip, uh, nil nil with Cluj. Um, but we've not been beaten in the league, in the in the group stage so far. So it's not been too, too bad in the Europa League. I don't know if I've got a full enough squad to sort of challenge on multiple fronts, but we shall see. Um, we are into the fifth round of the League Cup uh, with a 2-0 win against Sunderland. Goals from Hazard and Aguero there. Um, I don't know who we play in the next round. Oh, we've got Chelsea in the quarterfinals. Superb. Um, away from that in the Premier League then... Uh, that was where you would have last seen us against Aston Villa. Um, so we have since uh, beaten Stoke 1-0, uh, beaten Bristol City, beaten Hull. Uh, we lost to West Ham, annoyingly. Um, mm, I can't really remember this game too much. Oh, I didn't want to click report. No. Show me the stats. Yeah, show me the match stats. Right, there we go. I mean, 14 shots to their seven. Both had five on target. Uh, we hit the woodwork once. We had two clear-cut chances and they had two clear-cut chances as well. But they just scored their chances and we did not. Um, if I look at the uh, match ratings, I think this must have been whilst Aguero was injured. Um, Tevez was playing up front for me. 6.2 for Tevez. 6.0 uh, for Di Maria. 6.6 uh, .6 for Neymar. Not great. Uh, Micah Richards was there getting the goal for us. I mean, West Ham didn't really set the world alight uh, with this team here. Uh, notable names in there is obviously uh, Rob Green, uh, Matthew Upson, Scott Parker, uh, uh, Barami, uh, Carlton Cole, for instance. You know, that sort of team. They didn't really set set um, set the world alight, um, as I said. Pretty balanced. I'd say we probably edged it slightly one possession as well. But, you know, sometimes you lose those games, uh, especially in football manager. So after that, yeah, we uh, won away at Cluj. Uh, we beat Middlesbrough 4-0 in the Premier League. And then we beat Blackburn 2-0 in the Premier League as well, with goals from Di Maria and Neymar. Um, so as I mentioned, here's the 0-0 with Cluj. Um, I, some of the time I look at these games and I'm like, how have we not won that game? 18 shots, 9 on target. Uh, three blocked, uh, hit the woodwork uh, twice. Um, but, you know, I think things are going decently enough in the Europa League that we should progress to the next round. Now we move on to today's task in hand. We're at home. We're against Manchester United. It's second versus fourth. This is our our first real big test. I mean, obviously, we've played Everton. We've played Arsenal, who finished above us last season. But this is a real, real, real big test. Um, I think if we look in the match preview... Manchester United beat me twice last season. Um, we've only scored three goals against them and conceded six. So maybe this is the year to uh, to change things around. I think if I look at this Manchester United team, I think if I look at this Manchester United team, you can you guys can see it here. Uh, Ryan Giggs is unregistered, age thirty six. So that would be interesting. He won't be playing. But the main news for me is that Wayne Rooney is out with a broken foot for another two to five weeks. So this game couldn't have come at a more perfect time for me. But also with Rooney being out injured, so is defender Nemanja Vidic, um, who's another massive loss 
loss for them. He's out with a torn hamstring again for eight days and two weeks. So they're caught, they're kind of towards the end of these injuries, which is probably why Manchester United are down in fourth. Disappointed to see that they are favourites, even though we are at home at the City of Manchester Stadium. It's not quite been named the Etihad. Um, so they've been playing Marim Barim Juf up front. Uh, he's their top goal scorer. Doesn't look as good as my team. Uh, obviously, Danny Welbeck and Dimitar Berbatov in there for us to worry about. So I'll go into the team selection really quick. Oh, dear. Oh, we've got injuries. Okay, I'll sort this out and I'll be right back to run you through the team. Okay, so I've sort sorted out. Okay, so I have sorted out our starting 11. Uh, we've got Igor Akinfeev in goal, Zabaleta, Mika Richards, Chiellini and Serge Aurier make up the back line. Um, as you can see down here, I've got injuries to Gareth Bell and Thiago Silva and Nader Manua is suspended. So that's why we're kind of a little bit light here actually for this game I'm going to bring on De Jong so then I've got Hamsik and De Jong in the central midfield spots obviously Luka Modric is coming back from an injury he will be fine soon um, and then what else have we got we got Sean Wright Phillips on the right attacking midfield spot uh, Neymar's playing Cam for today's game and then Di Maria on the left attacking midfield with Aguero up front as you can see the main goals have been coming from Di Maria this season actually uh, he's picked up uh, nine goals in 17 appearances. And then Hamsik is second with eight tied with Sergio Aguero. So I'd like to think that we can put in a uh, decent showing against Manchester United. Could it possibly be the first time that we beat them? So this Manchester United team with all their injuries and we've got Van der Sar in goal, John O'Shea, Rio Ferdinand, Johnny Evans, Patrice Evra. Uh, Antonio Valencia, Fletcher, Carrick, Flora Maluda, who I assume they only, I can only assume they bought from Chelsea. 4.5 million. That's not bad business. Not bad business. Flora Maluda on the left. Then uh, Diouf, as I mentioned, up front with Berbatov. I hate playing four, against the 4 4 2 in this iteration of Football Manager, but here we go. Let's see how we get on. Opposition instructions. I'll ask the assistant. I'll also say, oh yeah, for the fans. Again, as you, you know my thoughts on this. Uh, uh, this football manager and their team talks, I just think is shambolic. So 10 minutes in and we have our first highlight. I can see that one of my players is holding a knock there and Juve scores. Is that 1-0? What, what even happened? I don't even know what happened. Ball in. Juve was with Chiellini. Valencia gets tackled by Ore into the path of Juve. Wow. Um, not the best start uh, into a Manchester derby, but nevertheless, we go again. Hamsik immediately replies off of the corner. They've been taking these short corners. It's not something that I've set up, um, but the short corner comes in from Di Maria. I think it's the Chiellini, who's this man on the edge of the penalty area. The ball gets clear, but not very well. Only out to Hamsik, who's sort of just past the penalty spot, and he absolutely thunders it past Van der Sar to make it 1-1. Makes up for the lucky uh, lucky goal that Manchester United have scored. Neymar's free kick there is deflected behind for another corner. Neymar's very unmarked. Oh, he's just gone into a marked position. Corner comes in. Why is Chiellini taking my corner? Anyway, back out to Serge Aurier, who's fouled by Maluda. Another free kick. Neymar stood over it. Goes direct. Again, hits the wall, but we win another corner. Since I've changed the touchline instruction to control, we've been doing so much better in these games. Um, sort of having a majority of the of the chances, restricting the opposition a lot as well. Um, ha also having quite a lot of possession as you would expect, but also not really exposing ourselves at the other end of the pitch. As Di Maria floats in a corner, but that is the end of the highlight with the clearance from Manchester United. So there you have it, guys. It's 1-1 at half time. I'm actually pretty pleased with the way that people have been playing. Who's that on a 6.2 there? Nigel de Jong. Um, I probably will look at changing him later. Another 6.2 there of Chiellini. I don't know why Chiellini's not having a superb season as we go into the second half. I think he's maybe looking for a long-term partner as Thiago Silva's out injured again. Uh, Nader Manua suspended, as I mentioned. Hoping he can really kick on towards the rest of the season. So Hamsik wins the ball then. Out to Di Maria. Over the top to Aguero. And this is where he can break. Hits it straight at Van der Sar. That's a good opportunity there. Good save from Van der Sar in the end, actually. 
Um, but we win it back. Aguero into Wright Phillips. Wright Phillips takes on Evra, gets past him, swings the ball in. But Aguero, not the centre forward you want uh, when it comes to trying to head in chances. And Nigel de Jong there just absolutely clatters the Manchester United player. No booking because obviously this was 10 years ago. But one long ball over the top almost sends in Juf. <sighs> what a good save that was from Akinfev. Into Aguero again. This guy, this is end to end stuff, this. Mika Richards gets there. Only as far as Johnny Evans, who goes all the way back to the goalkeeper. Why is Michael Carrick running free down the wing? Mika Richards is so much quicker than him. Easily recovers to put the ball out for a throw. Ever on the throw. These highlights go on for so much longer compared to Football Manager uh, 2020. Foul on uh, De Jong there by John O'Shea. Highlight go. God, these are endless. It's like I'm talking the entire game. Chiellini wins the header into De Jong, into Aguero. Oh, that was it. I think that might have been it. A really good chance there from Aguero. Turned his man really well, but then dragged his shot just wide of the goal. Counter from Manchester United with Valencia. Ball's banged around. Berbatov has a shot. Akinfeev does really well to push the ball over for another corner. Um, I definitely think we've been the better team, but we've had a lot of shots blocked. A lot of people putting their bodies on the line so far with 20 minutes to go. I'm going to wait for this highlight to play out, wait for the corner to come in before I change anything. Uh, and that looks like it is headed over by Darren Fletcher. So we jump into the tactics section then, who is playing pretty poorly. Uh, Sean Wright Phillips is playing pretty bad. Uh, let's bring on Stephen Ireland. I'm also going to bring on Verratti for De Jong in the centre midfield. And I think that's how I'm going to leave it there. I've got Lukaku. I've got Hamas Rodriguez there. I, I've obviously got company in Lescott um, who don't need to play. I don't think I need to change up the defence. I mean, Manchester United were pretty lucky with their goal, I must say. Goal kick out to Zabaleta. Works it up the line. Gets bodied. Here come United then. Good tackle from Aurier. Di Maria goes past his man, looks for the cross in. Van der Sar is forced to make the save. Looks like that could have almost gone in. We get another corner. That's our 10th corner of the game. We are dominating Manchester United, which probably means we are going to lose 2-1 in Fergie time. I've definitely seen that happen once or twice before in real life. Um, so there's, the subs come in now. Off goes uh, De Jong and Wright Phillips. Aguero on the corner this time, only into Fletcher, who clears to Danny Welbeck on the counter. Looks all the way across to Maluda. Man United have got numbers here. Only as far as Mikkel Richards with the cross and the highlight is over. Final 15 minutes. I'm not actually going to be too disappointed with a draw. I would have been really, really happy with a win. Um, but Manchester United are just a juggernaut in this game. They constantly do well. Uh, constantly... <sighs> Just as I say it, constantly do well, constantly grind out results. And that is the sort of thing that I mean. Like, if you look at the stats, I think we've been the better team. Somehow, somehow that ball comes in, then I have no idea how Duf um, has managed to put that in. That's what I get for saying that my, my forwards are better, hey? We get into the last knockings of the game. Aguero goes round his man. Another shot is blocked. What's that now? Eight shots blocked. It's tough out here, man. This Manchester United team are just so difficult to get past. We've got a corner, though. Di Maria swings it in, looks towards Hamsik, but it gets cleared. Neymar gets the loose ball. We're pushing again. We're on the overload section. Zappaleta goes all the way back to goalkeeper. I mean, we're on overload, boys. Just, just kind of attack whenever you fancy it. Just fed up of you guys knocking it around. Is that a free kick? Come on. Final 90 seconds of the game. Free kicks have been awful this game so far. I've barely beaten the first man or the wall. Same with all the corners other than the one we scored from. Duf is absolutely having a revolution of a season. Who needs Wayne Rooney, eh? Chiellini with the ball. Into Verratti. Oh, that's bad. I guess that's why you don't. Why they say that you don't win anything with kids. And the referees just blame for full time. I mean, there's only 10 seconds of the game left, but never mind. I mean, I'm pretty disappointed, as the, as the assistants just said there. Duf has absolutely tore me apart. 
He's got two goals. Look at his stats. He's not even that good. He's got six composure for God's sake, man. I'm 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 fuming that he scored. If Rooney had scored those goals, I wouldn't care. But Marim Barim Juf. Uh, played seven games last year. Played ten this so this so far out of necessity, and he's 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 bagged two against me there. I'm fuming. I mean, you could say we miss Hazard. We miss Gareth Bale, Thiago Silva, Modric. Still didn't get the job done, though. Okay, so Sir Alex has got my number yet again for another game. Hopefully, we'll see, we can turn that around later on in the season. So where does that put us then? That drops us down to third. Manchester United leapfrog us. We have played one game less than Man United though, but we are now level one games with Tottenham. Um, so a win takes us back into second, which isn't too bad. Um, but I think this is going to be a very hard fought Premier League season. Hopefully we can come out on top. So in the last video, I said I would bring you the game against Manchester United, and I think it was supposed to be Tottenham. Next, however, one of my fixtures has been rearranged, so we now have to take on Wigan. Um, team selection for this one then. Uh, let's rearrange. Who Do I have anybody back? Modric isn't fully fit yet, but I might put him on the bench instead of Verratti for this game. And that is kind of all I will do. Leave the team as is. Let's go in and take on Wigan. So this is the teams then. Uh, Chris Kirkland, Yang and Biwa, Titus Bramble. Don't know this guy. Amaya. Um, Spanish. Who have they signed him from? Uh, Real Vallecano by the looks of things. Uh, Andy Dawson at left back. Then uh, Diame and uh, Paul Sharna. Jordi Gomez. Uh, James Morrison, yeah, uh, Nasser Chadley. That's an interesting one to see that we're going to have signed Nasser Chadley. Interesting. Obviously, Belgium international in real life now. And then is that Jason Scotland up front? Oh, my God, it is. What a blast from the past. Jason Scotland up front for Wigan. Um, Titus Bramble, just, just humour me. How good are you? 19 heading. 18 tackling. Mm, don't remember you being that good. I remember you scoring a lot of own goals. But the starting 11's uh, the same for us. I should have probably brought a newer back in, but uh, I'll be honest, guys, I forgot. Um, team talk, I don't really care. Doesn't doesn't mean anything anyway. You'd hope that we can bounce back with a win against Wigan. Um, Wigan definitely nowhere near the level of Manchester United. As Aguero whips the ball in towards Neymar, who is never in a million years going to win that header. What I will say, though, is the um, development of Angel Di Maria this season. Obviously, I mentioned that he's our top goal scorer with, I think it was nine. Um, but yeah, he, he, he didn't really get too involved last season. He seems to have grown into it a bit more. Seems a bit more comfortable uh, in the role playing on the wide left um, spot. But yeah, he's, he's definitely been getting involved in the goals a little bit more, uh, which has been pleasing to see. Is that tight scramble? Right. I need to learn. Stop taking the mick out of people before you play them. Take the take the mick after. Dawson swings the corner in. A uh, corner. I can't even talk. Dawson swings the free kick in and Bramble's there to just head past Ack and Thief. Why do I why do I do it to myself? I'm just like, ha, ah, he's rubbish, isn't he? Ha, he never score. Ha ha, I don't remember him being that good. And then they do every time. As Kirkland makes another another good save there. Um here we go. Theme theme of the episode. Team has less shots and scores with their one and only effort on goal. So from our corner, Morrison's allowed to break. Aurier is tracking him, but the ball comes across. Headed clear by Chiellini, but that is the end of the highlight. Mika Richards, absolute no man's land there. Jordi Gomez back to Shana, out to Dawson on the left. Swings another cross in. We're able to clear, but we keep heading it or like clearing it towards Neymar. who's just not going to win it in the air, is he? Aurier heads all the way back, but Akinfeev cannot keep it in. So it's another corner. 
Titus Bramble again. Anyone? Number two? What do you reckon? Corner comes in. It was towards Bramble, I think. Missed the names uh, flash up there. Aguero is on the break. He looks like he's got Di Maria on this side. Gives it to Di Maria. Di Maria can't fully get past his man for pace. Crosses it in and Bramble's there to just head clear again. Hamsik with the ball. De Jong looks for Di Maria. Two players there. Neymar's there. How is Neymar not scored that? One shot, one on target, one goal for Wigan. Uh, done nothing else. No block shots, no woodwork. Uh, very, very average first half from us there. I don't understand why these sorts of games happen. Aguero floats a free kick in, it's headed clear, it's a corner. I don't know why we're getting so many corners and set pieces against a team like Wigan. Again, absolutely robbed here. Di Maria floats the ball in. Richards can't get near the header. Neymar gets beaten to the ball by Diame, who... See, we're losing to this team. Right, I've had enough. We're going to attack him. I know I've been saying that the control is the way to go and it's been doing me wonders this season. Well, not at the moment. That's a pen. Referee's given it. Aguero gets fouled. Hamsik's going to be the man to step up, I think. Look at how I'm sat. I'm nervous for a Man City penalty away at Wigan. Oh, it's Di Maria taking it. Why is Hamsik not taking it? He's my penalty taker. Oh. Hamsik's never missed a penalty for me. It's an awful penalty as well. Kirkland moves ahead of time and Di Maria just boots it straight at him. Stunned. Absolutely stunned. Di Maria floats a corner in. Aguero's there, goes around the goalkeeper. That makes it 1-1. 20 minutes of the game left to go. I'm going to have to do something here. What's Di Maria gone down to now? Did you see, he was playing it at seven. I have no idea. What's Ham Six penalty taking? 17. What's Di Maria's penalty taking? 15. Fuming. Fuming. Do I have much on the bench? I've got Modric. Let's give Modric a run out in his recovery from injury. Right, Phillips is doing okay. Neymar's struggling, so let's give Hamas Rodriguez a run. I'll be the two subs then. Hopefully, Hamas Rodriguez out and or Luka Modric can be the difference here. Di Maria, lovely, lovely pass. And Aguero just calmly just runs around Chris Kirkland, who probably shouldn't have come for that. But I can see why he's done it. So final knock into the game then. Time's just evaporating. I'm trying to set us on overload. But in the time it took me to grab my mouse and put us on overload, I think we lost about... Oh, why are you shooting from there? By the time I took, grabbed my mouse and put us on overload, I think we lost about 10 minutes worth of in-game time there. Oh, we're going to have just had their third shot, guys. So they've now, since they're scoring, since they scored, they've had one shot off target and one shot blocked. That's it. I'm a little bit frustrated. That's the 93rd minute. Wigan just taking their time here. We're not even allowed. We're not even allowed to break. Wigan changed to a four-four-two into the ninety-fifth minute of the game now. Referee surely going to blow his whistle as soon as. I mean, Di Maria gets clattered there. So throw in Di Maria looks dead on the pitch there. Just led flat on his back. Physio's given him a look. He's had the magic spray. He's fine. Referee's still allowing the game to continue into Aguero, into Modric. He's hit one at Kirkland. That was almost it. I mean, there's three minutes of injury time. We're, we're into the 96th minute here. We've got a corner. We're throwing men forward. We're going to have got literally everybody almost inside their six-yard box. Into Chiellini. Di Maria, time to atone. Clears the ball. Aurea, get there. Yang and B were foul. We got a free kick. 
we move into the seventh minute of injury time. Hamsik has a go straight at, straight at goal into the wall. And that is where the referee blows the full time whistle. I'm frustrated. That's what these these are games we need to win. Um these are games that we were losing last season. Um or we were drawing last season. Um we're gonna in eighth. So will we can take points off people? Who knows? A big result there is Liverpool thrashed Tottenham 4-0. Four, four goals for Fernando Torres. What a player he is in this save, by the way. 20 goals in 18 appearances so far this season. He looks like he's in electric form, obviously, pre-Chelsea. Um, so what does that mean for the league table then? We are now in fourth. That is disappointing. Uh, basically the same amount of games played as everybody, except from Liverpool. Um, Liverpool beating Tottenham does sort of drag them back into contention with everybody else. Um, and we are three points adrift of them. Let me just have a quick check of the fixtures. Because if I am playing... I've got Tottenham and Liverpool next. This is basically going to define how my season is going to go. So I will bring you those two games in another video. But until then, guys, take care and I'll see you soon.